Hello everybody. Um, so I bought a uh, Dol Dolica, Dolica, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, um, the tripod from Amazon. This was, um, I think it was $40 or $50. Um, it comes in a case, it kind of looks a pool cue. And um, I didn't really see any reviews online uh, really about um, the workings of this, so I thought I was just, just going to show you guys. Um, it was cheap. I'm in no way a professional photographer, so I'm not going to spend, you know, two, three hundred dollars on a tripod. And I really want to play with the ball mount, which you can see here. Um, one of the major complaints I've read was that you can't pan left and right with it, which is very true if you um, want it higher, like up here. So I had to release this one in order for it to pan left and right. As you can see here, when you release this right here, the ball joint is loosened and at that point you can pan left and right this way, this thing does turn but once you tighten it it can't turn unless this right here is loose or loosened. Um, what I have here is a Sony Alpha what is this? A 200 uh, with a vertical grip and a um, 70 to 200 millimeter lens. This is the beer can. That's what they call it. At least it's pretty heavy. So, you know, it holds it pretty well. It's not too bad. Um, I think it could be a little more stable. Um, tripod wise, it is really light. Um, not quite sure what else I could say about this. Oh, another major complaint was that these uh, clasps right here are made of plastic and they are pretty cheap. But in no way are they going to break off if you just pull on it. Um, when it comes up, it's not that smooth. It is pretty rough. Like, it doesn't fall down easily by itself. But, you know, for $40, $50, what do you really want? Um, if you were going to spend $40 or $50 on a tripod, definitely get this. Um, what I'm using here on the video camera on this side is what I have um, always been using. Is this cheap little thing right here that I got when I was in college. I mean, this thing, you know, it does the job, but it's not really that stable. And this ball joint definitely is a bigger improvement. Um, the one thing I am concerned about, hold on for just one second. Sorry. Um, the one thing I am concerned about is when... I do loosen it and I'm trying to take a picture like this landscape and I do lock it. I find that the weight of my camera with this lens, it, and it is in no way the heaviest lens that exists, um, it does slowly push this thing down and there's no way I could screw the mount here tight enough where it doesn't. Um, sorry. The problem is with this thing right here, I can't screw it hard enough, so you might want to put like another kind of rubber grip on it. There is a piece of cork, but the grip, it's still loose, so I'm not quite sure if that's a common issue with a heavier lens. Um, well, I guess if a heavier lens, you mount it on the lens, but you know, with this lens right here, I can't really do that too well. Um, but like I said, the handles is way okay. It's not too bad. I mean, like I said, if you need a higher, then you will have a problem where you can't really um, rotate it this way. So, so I'll just to show you. Oh, as you can see, it's not that stable when I do this. I mean, this is not me trying anything. It just it does wobble, but you know, it's not really gonna fall. But I would be very careful using this. Um, this is the aluminum one, not, and I know they make a carbon fiber one. Um, was not able to find that. Anyways, again, this is the. Dolica Pro Line um, model number is this B100 right here, so I guess it's a B100. Um, everything else works pretty smooth, um, and that's it, I guess. Hope this helps.